Lubaba TV. Kalibu na it's another beautiful day that we are here in our session and as you know we always talk with many visitors and many tourists who visit our country and today here I have another visitor who is your brother and we were making some stories we I asked him how he was how he was I mean his journey from uh, Europe to here so we make some many many stories don't forget to subscribe but hit the bell and tell your fellows that to be getting a lot of good session like this so welcome brother and Hello. first I would like you to introduce bonjour bonjour comment ça va ça va bien et toi super bien merci uh, alors je suis Maxime uh, I'm Maxime from France and uh, I'm a chef um, working in uh, Switzerland and uh, a traveler too. I love to do some uh, picture, travel picture and um, yeah. yeah. So Karibu, welcome in Tanzania. Thank you. Thank you. Sante sana. How long have you been in Tanzania? Uh, it's been now almost uh, three weeks. Uh, so three weeks you're in Tanzania? <coughs> yes, three weeks. And what's your plan? You want to stay longer or...? No, it was just for, for travel because uh, I like to discover many parts of the world. I, I traveled a lot already. And uh, Tanzania, why? Because uh, it seems it was uh, a beautiful country for me from outside, from Europe, because of the... Um, I don't know the Zanzibar, the Tanganyika lakes, the all the animals. Uh, it, it's my first time or so in, uh, in Africa. I just did uh, Morocco and Tunisia, and uh, yeah, that's why I came. So in Africa, you have been Morocco, Tunis, Tunisia, then Tanzania. Yes, yes. You haven't visited another African country? No, no. It's. Uh, uh, I was born in uh, in France, but my father come from uh, Reunion Islands, close to Mauritius and Madagascar. Uh, so it's kind of part of Africa. So I've got uh, a tiny, tiny bit of Africa in my soul. So that's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have said you have visited some places in Tanzania. It would be best if you know where did you visit so far. Uh, so I arrived in uh, Stone Town, Zanzibar. Um, I stayed a few days in um, Padje, I did a, a kite surf, I would like to do kite surf over there, so I tried to. <laughs> and then Nungui, Stone Town, then I did a, a safari between uh, Ngorongoro, uh, Tarangire and uh, Serengeti was so beautiful, I've got an uh, amazing photo. Yeah. Between Tarangile, Ngorongoro and Serengeti, what, who was your favorite? Uh, and Gorongoro. Because Gorongoro. Yeah. it was more, you know, like a, a forest, African forest, then you've got the lakes, uh, the, the, small, the small forest, the animals. Uh, I saw a lot of new, too. Uh, antelopes, uh, zebra, lions, giraffe. So the, the, the tree of them was so beautiful, but Ngorongoro for me was what I imagine about Africa and safari. I traveled a lot, yeah. I traveled a lot in uh, all the continents, not Antarctic, but I did Australia, I did uh, Asia, Europe for sure, um, United States, Central, South America, and now Africa. Uh, you said you, you travel and take photographs. Yeah. So far, where, which place you have got best photograph? Uh, I think the best photography was uh, in India, maybe. Uh, all the country uh, kept the, um, the clothes, this origin, you know, the, um, the culture. And then in India it's really a rough country, tough country. But behind that you can feel the mountains, the people, the animals, a bit like uh, in Tanzania. Ah, it's it's like somehow. Yeah, it could be, could be rough, but if you go to local, like you, or local I met during my trip in uh, Tanzania, or India, or Peru, I've been in uh, 
in Colombia too. Uh, I've been in uh, Myanmar, uh, Philippines, many country, and uh, I don't like the. I like the touristic place because it's beautiful. But when it's too touristic, uh, yeah, it's. It's. I, I don't like it. I prefer to be with uh, with local, like I'm with you now. Uh, so, yeah. in Tanzania, did you get the time to interact with the local? Yeah, a bit. Not too much because I'm here just for one month. It's short, but I I'm working hard too in uh, in Switzerland, like a chef, uh, as I told you, and. Uh, yeah, I, I, I share a lot. Yeah, the Tanzanians are always happy to to help you, you know. So I met a guy, but he was a foreigner, but uh, a guy in uh, Nungui. Also nice people in um, in Padje. Uh, here you in Mwanza, the guide uh, to, for the safari was really cool too. Uh, yeah, really helpful. Yeah. Uh, and what do you like about Tanzanian people? Uh, it's hard to say because I'm here just for for two or three weeks, but I can say uh, Tanzanians are chill, poly poly, like you say, Akuna uh, Matata too. Uh, yeah, really helpful and wants um, wants to know a little bit more about tourism. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, you, and what what do you, don't you like about Tanzania? Why what? You don't like about Tanzania people? I like everything man. Uh, it's hard for me to, to say I don't like uh, anything in Tanzania because I don't know Tanzania. Uh, I don't like, I don't know, no. No, I can't say I don't like anything. I need to be... Uh, yeah, to stay longer to say that, yeah. yeah. And what was your biggest challenge in your travel? Because I see you travel all right, yeah. so being a solo traveler, I know it's somehow challengeable because you need to arrange everything yourself, you need to take care of yourself. What's uh, the biggest challenge? The challenge, you mean, yeah. Yeah, the challenge was, uh, yeah, just to travel alone, um, to know where the, the bus stations are, the Dal Dala, because in some part of Tanzania there is not a, a bus station, it's on the road close to the gas station or petrol station. And that, when I start, was a bit, yeah, it was a bit uh, uh, tricky to get the good bus, and otherwise I can take the taxi, but it costs a lot, and I'm not traveling like this. Yeah. Yeah. And so far, uh, in your travel, I, I know you encounter a lot of things, you meet a lot of people, uh, you have different moments. So far, what's your favorite moments here in Tanzania? If you remember, ah, I had the best moment, even when you go in the Europe, you can say, ah, this yeah. time was very good. So I, had it, I think Tanzania is a crazy town, cause crazy country, because uh, in Peru, for example, I did like uh, almost uh, ski. Uh, I've been in Iran too, Iran in uh, Middle Eastern. Um, yeah, the, the best the best time will be to see the animal, the lion and stuff. Uh, I can't choose, you know, because the best time it's right now to speak with you, Lovely. to have, yeah, to have meeting you. Um, I will say, okay, to my friend, yeah, go, go in, in Tanzania, because most of the people doesn't come, they do Zanzibar and safari but now i'm in mwanza and i look look that area like victoria like it's crazy and then i go to uh, tanganyika to see the chimpanzees so what i love most pff, it's the same i can't say the best country i've been i like everything at the moment yeah have we ever have the worst moment during your safari a worst moment no it was cool no, it was, was great. The, the, the four-wheel drive doesn't break down. Uh, the guide was cool. Um, no, I, w I, would, I would love to see like a, a hunt during the safari. But you know, the animals are chill. Yeah. So I haven't seen that. But no worst moment for me. <laughs> and... You were in Tanzania for three weeks. Do you know any kind of Swahili? 
Uh, just the basics, you know, like just uh, uh, mambo, jumbo, poa, asantesana, um, the kawa. Um, uh, a local told me I was black and white, and it means uh, coffee with milk. Uh, so how you say that? It's kawa. Kawa namaziwa. Kawa namaziwa. So I'm Kawa Namaziwa in, in Tanzania. Yeah, two in one, yeah. And have you ever tried Tanzanian dish? Yes, yes. Um, in many restaurants in Stone Town, um, Lukman restaurant, a good restaurant. And because I'm a chef, I arrived there and I like to spoke with them. I had some nice picture too. Uh, the food is that the reason why I came here too, because there is like a kind of spice of Reunion, Madagascar, Mauritius, from Africa, from uh, Middle Eastern. So in Lukman restaurant, which is a really great restaurant, in the same plate I had Africa, Africa, uh, India, and Middle East, like Iran or Turkey, in the same plate, man. So that was so so cool, yeah. So for you know me. how to cook Tanzanian dishes now. At least few. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can, for me, it's because I'm traveler and chef for maybe 20 years now, um, I can just take the spice, like Indian food from Madagascar, Reunion Island, it's kind of Indian, African, so my father always ate like rice with, um, with beans and fish in curry, curry, masale, so yeah, I know how to do a bit 